right then. Run from us. Please help. The child yet lives. Out of your jurisdiction now, aren't you? You're trespassers down here. And that means anything that happens to you is your own damn fault. If you've got something to say, say it to our faces. Even you must feel the weight of what you've done. Eyes up. Something stirs in the back. Are these the monsters we heard about? No. Further back. Tis the footsteps in the night. The bigger that beast back there grew, the more its watchdog started changing with it. One of them's gonna make a million. What has been happening here? Why do you kidnap the residents? Why? Because premium bait's worth a fortune. I couldn't live on the wages of a guardsman forever. You kidnap children for money, you utter scum. This from a bloody-eyed you chief. Look to your own sins, sir. You were just stripped of your knighthood. You were exiled. You're a coward who's been living in the hole you deserve. Didn't pretend you can play it justice now. You foil. No, oh, tis true in part. This is why I stand here now. I ran from my past and turned away from my pain. You prey on innocent lives. Your sin will be repaid. Yet I cannot condemn you alone. Not when I could not see past my own suffering. Not when I locked myself away to be alone with my pain. O oh, Lodestar, hmm? who falters in memory. O oh, thou anguished traveler. Thy long stagnant stance hath finally been broken. Now choose thy path. Choose? Hm. My choice is already made. You can't erase your past. All you can do is take it in hand and reshape your future. Thank you. Thou hast chosen a noble parting. O oh, Lodestar, whose light reveals the King's own path, awaken! <laughs> I am Heisme Noctul. I believe the arc of life depends not upon birth. By these hands, soiled or sinless, I fight! Mm. Apologies, but I cannot do this alone. Rip them up! 
Escape me! Out of my way, fiends! What's going on? He just started fighting with us. And even he awakened to his power. The chance is through your influence that this power passed to him, Captain. Oh, is this what Moore was talking about? Young man, you seem the most adept with this magic. I will strike at your direction, if you might spare it. Rest assured, I once stood among the Shadow Guard, and the years have not dulled my edge. Nothing personal. What a blunder. Even Don't a gesture can shape the course of his faker! Scour! In the name of I shall vanquish evil! Hack and slash! Oh healing power. Come! Oh mystic purge! They yet cling to life. I'll take this. You work. I will fight for that. Vita's power. Wind. In the name of. Satisfactory. Stop. Bastard got away! But the children are safe. Good. You've saved them, Heisme. <laughs> you know that I used to have a child of my own. My son. He was killed. I could not even protect my own flesh and blood. Who could call me a knight? <sighs> Since then, I've wondered what I had left to live for. ...and found few answers. Is that why you lived in such a dangerous place? That you might be... We need to chase down Morris first. He said something kind of weird back there, didn't he? Regarding the watchdogs... ...he said they gradually turned more horrific... ...the more the monster grew. Do you think that's the effect of the Melancholia? I expect anything further in will be even more malformed than... But why root all this in the basement of the Lady's own domain? Clearly, someone is invested in Morris's efforts. But who would finance this? I can't say for certain. Still, from the very beginning, this has felt beyond the realm of any sane, moral person. And to think this started as a simple bounty contract. We've set foot in something far bigger, I think. Let's get these poor youngsters back to Baden for now. You saved the wee one's lives. We can't thank you enough. No, we just did what had to be done. I know this is difficult to hear, but Morris had a hand in this the whole time. He confessed as much to us. Aye. I found out the man's been struggling to pay off all manner of gambling debts. I'll round up the guard and search the whole bloody castle for him. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid you'd be outmatched. However, it would be a great help to us if your guards could prevent anyone from leaving the grounds. Considering everything, I can't help but think the Lady Joanna's got to be in on this somehow. But the woman is a respected sancturess. Besides which, she's the one who funded the initial request. I'll tell you this. Hard as we've looked, we can't find a sniff of Lady Joanna herself. We're here for our own reasons. Whoever we find down there, we're not going to stay our blades. Any objections? 
None for me. Do as you will, and I'll trust in Lady Joanna's innocence. Indeed, for all we know, the culprit may be holding her hostage. I, too, have a score that needs settling. I cannot let these atrocities continue, especially not in my name. I believe in you. Considering we're due in Oceana in a matter of days, we've little time to tarry here. Our foes may be strong, but they're also trapped like rats in the basement. We'll use the old well to get in and out. Young man, hey! Then... Pleased to hear that. Oh. Let me perform for you. sleep, lad. As it happens, I'm a bit restless myself. That a novel there? Don't see many carrying those around. Bit of an odd question, but what's your real aim as a group? To tell you the truth, we're a secret organization. Really? <laughs> Well, you are not very organized for an organization. In any case, suppose it's not my place to ask. Don't worry, lad. Just water. Back where I grew up, there was nobody like you lot. Just you, Jeeves. We've never been accepted by other tribes, and tis no mystery why. We're nocturnal, we look worlds apart, and there's so few of us. Not enough for any political sway. Our elders only ever thought of short-term alliances. Loyalties changeable as the wind. We relied on their power, not ours, and resigned ourselves to that. Oh, I loathed it. Even as a child. I hadn't been cowed into considering myself lesser. I honed my skills that the city's majority might accept me. And I'll not say it was fruitless. I was accepted into the knighthood of the royal capital. I felt like my fellows and strangers alike accepted me as an equal. Fool that I was. They never really wanted me among the true knights. Just in the Shadow Guard, where my deeds were dirtier and kept secret. Equal and lesser in the same breath. Ultimately, once my superiors realized I wouldn't abide their self-serving orders, they stripped me of the title I'd fought for. And little by little, I lost everything else. My son died. I'd failed to protect him. And despite everything I felt, I'd resigned myself to being powerless. Just like the damned elders I'd hated so much. But you know, 
You lot have helped me realize something. I'd thought for a long time that if I wanted to feel accepted, instead of being the eternal outsider, I'd need power, status, some mighty patron nobody could defy. I wasn't really looking to swear myself to some superior. I only wanted not to be alienated for who and what I am. I just needed allies, friends. And from now on, we're friends. <laughs> A free spirit, are you? It'll be my pleasure then. The aloof hermit, Heisme. Within him dwells the virtue of the thief. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. Perhaps our fates are bound somehow. If my boy was still alive, he'd be about your age. Though he'd look absolutely nothing like you, of course. Long as we're both awake, might I have a look at that old novel of yours? So, this is a fantasy novel. This section seems to describe the utopia's approach to discrimination. Let's see here. In this world, discrimination and inequality are forbidden by law. It is a sin to impose injustice due to one's appearance, lineage, or birth. This is the accord established between the people and the state. Well, well. What a world that would be. I don't imagine our land will get there for another century or five. Still, I cannot help but wonder whether those ideals would please an entire population. You cannot pretend at diversity without acknowledging individual differences. Some will be judged as strong, while others marked as weak. Equal competition doesn't mean equal footing. Their very aims of freedom and balance could spell doom for the striving weak. I wonder how we might ever achieve a true utopia, where everyone could be happy. If this awakened power is meant to be wielded in service of my beliefs, then, no matter who calls it naive or foolish, I will always use it to save the weak. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. So, it's in your hands. Focus. Search begins. Really? What now?
All right, then. Ta! More people missing. What were the gods doing? <laughs> For the old girl to shine. Now then, a village. That's where you want to go. That's interesting. It's your call. Let's be off. The gauntlet runner heads off toward a small farming village, and each shuddering step reminds them of their journey's purpose. What to pick? All right, then. Where to? All right, then. My... So. Hmm. Right. <laughs> All right. The party at last arrives in the village of Comero, a small farming settlement southeast of Martira. Blessed by the mild climate, its ranches produce fine fare, and to take in its idyllic landscapes is to be at peace, as time itself seems to stop. It gained a reputation for its rare and wondrous goods, brought there by merchants in their longing to return. As though welcomed by the grazing animals, the Gauntlet Runner stops gently. Say. Fine. Come on. That reminds me.
nuts. This? He's been like that for a while now. Wonder if he's all right. I knew it! This thing's the genuine article, a real bona fide lost relic in my hands. Some sort of power affecting the air around it, uh, trace amounts only, something, uh, a reaction, uh, a, a reaction entirely unlike Magla by God. Absolutely smashing! Beyond my wildest hopes, no bloody idea how to use the thing, but if I can just adapt this conduit here... <laughs> Can't forget a masterpiece like this! I say, lad, did you find this for my sake? We wanted to help you out, nurse. Why, I... I... I'm barely well touched. It, it positively jokes a man up. You may be just a lad, but you've the heart of a saint. And that old fella... Seems silly to ask, but he's long gone, isn't he? Yes. I'm sorry. Thought so. You can fight the years, but you can't beat them. <laughs> he made good on his promise, though, eh? It's in my hands now, old man. What's that? Something from the village. It's written with some letters we can't understand. Hmm. Ah, a cipher. Mirror letters, see here? It's a script I use myself when I don't want any snoop stealing my inventions. Now I think of it, he's the one who taught me even that trick. Thanks, old man. I owe you a great deal. Thank you. So what is it? Blueprints for a big secret invention? No. This is research on the lost relics. Looks like the old fellow was hunting for others. A uh, different cipher here. He tried to guess at locations, too. Looks like his chase ended when he lacked the means to follow his findings. Say, I have a grander favor to ask. Could you check around for more of these lost relics? Looks like the old man worked out a few other locations. There's uh, seven more relics noted down in this journal. I've got to see them all with my own eyes. A uh, quick stopover or two in our travel should be all it takes, so... Uh, please? Right. Leave it to me. Appreciated. We're in this journey together, what? Free-hearted engineer, Neurus. Within him dwells the virtue of the gunner. Nurture thy bond with him, and a new power yet slumbering within thee may awaken. I'm ready to kick my feet up, lad. You said it'd only take a few stopovers, but do you even know where they are? Well, they're scattered all about, my girl. If we could crack the cipher that had narrowed down our search range, Dad, I'll leave this journal here. If I can crack any of the codes, I'll make a special note of it. So you just take a look when you feel like a spot of treasure hunting. This one's important. Hey, I was thinking this back at the village, but I think I might be able to detect this relic with my powers. I'll know if I'm close to it. When you want to hunt for relics, can you let me know?
Thanks, you two. I'm rather looking forward to digging deeper into this. Here's where we are now. But which one? Here's where we are now. All right. Okay, then. Just you. But... Productive. <laughs> you get it, right?
In any case. Obviously. In any case. <sighs> I'm glad to have you at my side. But... Nonetheless... No, no. What? Speaking of... That's why... Yes. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. It is nearly time. Somehow... We should hurry. Check this out. <gasps> Mister. What now? You know, you saved my ass. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Amazing. Ah, oh, brilliant. Bye then. Why, you? All right, then. Let's head there right away. Hey! What'll it be?
What'll it be? Understood. All right, then. Where to? Let's go! Hello there. Let's go. What now? 